Now one of the nice things about calculating probabilities is you can use Excel to help you out. Now remember, probabilities are by definition the number of successes or things you are interested in divided by the total number of data sets or data points. In this case I happen to have 21 data points. Remember you can always look to your bottom row number here. My bottom row number is 22. It doesn't mean I have 22 data points because of this top label row. I have to take that out. So I have 21 data points. So that's a good place to start. Now we're going to go through calculating just a few probabilities. Maybe and we can use Excel to help us count these up. So maybe I want to find the probability that a illness is randomly selected. So I'm going to pick an animal and I want to find the probability that they came in for an illness. Well I can use Excel to count up, we just talked about this, counting how many came in for illnesses. So I can use, this is just one criteria, so I'm going to use the count if function. And I wanted to count up the visit codes, and I want to know how many of those were illnesses. So I have to look, and I see illnesses were given the code number 2. Now, I'll go back and turn this into a number. So I had turned it into a dollar sign. Now, you want to say the probability is not 7. Remember, I do have to divide by how many I had total. So what I'm going to do is divide this. In the formula bar, I'm going to click on that cell and edit the formula bar. So I'm dividing by 21. That gives me my probability right there. Now, usually in the business world, probabilities are pretty standardly given as a percent. So I'm going to go over to the Home tab and click on that percent symbol in the number part of the ribbon, and it's going to turn it into a percent for me, 33%. Now, Oftentimes, when you're calculating probabilities, you might want to narrow it down and look at two things that have to happen. So maybe I want to calculate the probability that an animal, that a dog came in for an emergency. Now there are two criteria that must be met. That the, the, it must be a dog and they must be there for an emergency. Because there's two criteria, I do want to look that was the wrong button, at the count ifs function with the S on the end, it's more than one criteria. So it's got to be a dog. So I'm going to highlight the animal type. And I'm going to remember that dogs were given the code of 1. And it came in for an emergency. So then I'm going to do the visit codes. Make sure it's in the right spot. Visit codes. And it's an emergency. So that code was given the code of 3. Now again, remember, this is not my probability. This is the number of dogs that came in for an emergency. To calculate it as a probability, I'm just going to divide by 21. And then in the Home tab, I can turn that into a percent. So about 10%. Now the nice thing about the count if and the count ifs function is that they are both able to count things given what we call numerical operators. So greater than, um, less than, stuff like that. So I'm going to say calculate the probability that the cost is less than $200. And you don't have to go through and count those up yourself. Excel will do it for you as long as you know what to put in. So I'm going to say insert a function. This is only one criteria. We're only looking at cost. We're not interested in everything else. So I just, I just need the plain old if, no s on the end. And I'm going to highlight the cost numbers. And in the criteria, you can use the less than sign. Less than $200. You can also use, maybe we're interested in greater than, so that would be the greater than sign. And if you're interested in less than or equal to $200, I can use the um, less than and then the equal sign. So I'll do less than or equal to. And greater than or equal to works the same way. You do want to put the, the less than or greater than symbol first and then the equal sign. We don't want the equal sign to come first. And it's going to say to me, look, 17 people or 17 animals, cost less than $200. And it's the same idea, not a probability, so I'm going to click on the cell, and up on the formula bar, I'm just going to type in divided by the 21, and I don't want this to be money. I want this to be 
a percent. So it's going to throw it over as a percent for me. 81 percent. Now you can combine these also. So maybe I want to calculate the probability that a emergency vet visit cost more than $250. So I can combine two things. And because this is two criteria, I do want to do the count ifs with the S at the end. So I'm going to make sure I choose that S. And I'm going to go piece by piece. Criteria one was that it was an emergency. So that's the visit codes. And I want it to be an emergency, which is three. Criteria two was that the cost, so I'm going to highlight the costs, are greater than, so I'm going to use that greater than symbol, and you'll find those symbols down next to the M key on your keyboard. You do have to press shift to access them. Greater than $250. And it didn't say greater than or equal to. And it says, well, two of the emergency vet visits were more, and I do just want to, to, to turn that into a percent or a probability. Home percent. One word of caution I will give you is that please, when you're doing the count if and the count ifs and you're working with those greater than, less than symbols, you want to make sure you don't highlight the, the label. You only highlight the numbers. Otherwise, Excel doesn't deal with that well combining letters and numbers together. So I generally want to just work with the numbers, not the labels that are given to each column. That'll make sure that, that it that deals with stuff correctly.